I think I accidentally burnt some bridges through what was supposed to be a fun game. Hey there, I'm Shirley, and for those who aren't familiar with the game Mafia, it's Among Us. That's literally it, Among Us. It's a party game where one person is the Mafia, and secretly unalives other members of the group, and they have to trick everyone into thinking they're not sus so they won't get ejected. Among Us. On the surface, it's just a fun party game, but what no one tells you is this game is an excellent way to burn bridges with people. Because in order to win this game as the Mafia, you must lie and manipulate. Things people generally don't like, and for good reason. Last year I was at a Christmas party with a singing group I used to be in, and after we did all the secret Santa shenanigans, we decided the 15-ish of us would play a round of Mafia. Because it's a fun party game. One of my groupmates appointed themselves the narrator, and I was expecting it to just be a chill game where I'd probably get killed off early. Except, the narrator chose me to be the Mafia. Well, this is gonna be a short game. Those who know me will know that growing up, I've always been pretty bad at lying, especially in games where lying is the main mechanic. I just feel very anxious or guilty and sometimes I'd start laughing uncontrollably. I still suck at hide and seek for that reason too. But I don't know what it was about this time. Maybe it was all my experience playing Among Us in the past couple years, but I was determined to win this game. This game of Mafia wouldn't end in two minutes. I would actually try my best. And the more I thought about it, I kind of realized that despite my past failures every time I had to lie in a game like this, that it was actually just a matter of acting. Trying to cover my own tracks and act unsuspicious was suspicious. Instead, I realized I just needed to pretend I didn't know who the Mafia was, like I was studying everyone else's expressions and trying to figure it out with them. As long as I acted short of my innocence and was a detective too, no one would question it. And it worked for a while. No one really pointed any fingers at me and I was making good progress in the game. I will admit, it felt kind of silly pretending that I was watching for people I was suspicious of and waiting to see their expressions when the deaths were announced at the beginning of the round, but it definitely helped my case. And I didn't have to spend so much focus on not looking suspicious, when I could instead focus on being politely suspicious of other people. And eventually we made it to the point where there were only four of us left, so basically the semifinals. Which, I'll be honest, I felt kind of guilty that I dragged the game on for that long, but a game was a game, and if I lost, I wanted to lose fair and square. The only people left in the semifinals were a guy I'll call Kazuha, who was just chilling, a guy I'll call Baiju, because we were all certain he was the doctor, because this absolute pro gamer just straight up told us early on that he was the doctor and could save people from getting killed. I probably should have gotten rid of him sooner so he wouldn't have been around for the semifinal round, but that's on me. And the last person, aside from me, was someone I'll call Yelan, a person who's pretty good at sleuthing, and who had kinda gotten the sense that she didn't like me that much. By the semi-final round, Yelan was pretty suspicious of me, but Kazuha and Baiju still weren't 100% sure on who the Mafia was. They were both debating between whether it was me or Yelan, which meant I kinda had to start arguing that it wasn't me and claiming that it was Yelan. I mainly wasn't trying to play offensively, since I didn't want to just go around pointing fingers at people because that felt mean, but we were near the end so I had to stand my ground and actually start lying. Neither Yelan nor I budged, so as a group, the four of us couldn't decide who to vote out. So instead, we made a plan to catch the Mafia. Baiju would use his doctor powers to protect himself, as he was the most valuable one still there, and we would wait to see if it was Yelan or I who died, because if the Mafia was one of us, we'd most likely kill off our greatest opponent. But surprise surprise, I guess Kazuha was just really quiet and the others forgot he was there or something, but I realized if I killed off Kazuha, which I realized would be risky because that would leave me with the doctor and the person who was suspicious of me, it wouldn't be directly traceable to me, nor Yelan, so I'd still have a chance. And when we all found out Kazuha was murdered, poor Baiju was in a very uncomfortable position where he had to decide whether it was me or Yelan who was the Mafia. Finally, victory was just around the corner. The thing is, remember how I said I'm bad at lying? Well, once it was me, Yelan, and Baiju, Yelan was like, See? It's Shirley! I knew it! And instead of responding with, Oh my gosh, it's Yelan! I knew it! Because logically she's the only option left, I accidentally responded, I mean, it, it could be Yelan! And Baiju hearing me say could, instead of being 100% certain, realized that was the Mafia. I didn't go down without a fight though, I insisted he was making a mistake and would regret this, just to see if I could make him change his mind, but he stood strong and I lost at the very final round. I came pretty close to winning, but the thing about Mafia is that sometimes there are no winners. Because depending on the crowd you play with, if you win as the Mafia, you might have lost a friend along the way. And I kinda did. 
Ever since that game, things kind of weren't the same with Yelan. She already didn't like me that much, but I guess gaslighting her for the better part of half an hour, even when it was for a game, was enough to take away any positivity she had left toward me. I don't know how to explain it, but things were kind of just tense with her afterward. I left the singing group about a month later for other reasons, but it became very obvious that Yelan disliked me. Which is okay, not everyone is gonna like me. But I'm guessing that round of Mafia did not help matters. So I guess the moral of the story is, if you're playing Mafia, or any game involving deception and manipulation, make sure you're playing with people who won't take the game personally, and will understand this is just a game, and not a reflection of how you normally interact with people in your day to day. I personally love games like Mafia and Among Us, but I guess that group where I was just acquaintances with some of them and not close enough friends where no one would take a game like this personally wasn't the best idea. Maybe I should have just let them win and been more obvious that it was me. I don't know. I'm overthinking things as I tend to do. But that's the one time in my life I didn't instantly lose as the Mafia. Normally I suck at this game when I'm the imposter because my anxiety makes games like these an interesting experience. Though I think from now on I'll probably be a little more careful about who I play games like these with. Funny enough, playing Among Us with random people on the internet is usually a better environment than whatever that Mafia game was. While we all lie and argue during Among Us, after every round we're all sure to drop a GG in the chat and crack jokes along the way. And that's why this video is sponsored by Among Us. Just kidding, I wish. Games are supposed to be fun, and I still feel kind of bad about the fact that it probably wasn't fun for Yelan if it really strained my friendship with her that much. But I guess it's just an experience to learn from. Thanks so much for watching this video through the end. Do you have any interesting stories playing Mafia or another party game? Which do you prefer, Mafia or Among Us? And if you haven't heard of Mafia nor Among Us before this video, can you please teach me your ways? If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of whatever I'm working on that week, whether it be an animatic, uh, oh, I forgot what I do on my channel. Whether it be an animatic, art challenge, meme, speed paint, who knows? Then feel totally free to give this video a like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll surely see you around. Don't be too sus until the next time I see you. <laughs> Bye! Whether it be an animatic, uh, oh, I forgot what I do on my channel. Whether it be an animatic, a meme, what else do I do? Whether it be an animatic, a meme, a speed paint,